Okay, um, so I thought I would give you a tour of my new studio space now that I've moved in and I've been using it a little bit. Also, there's nobody else in right now, so I can talk to a camera without feeling ridiculous. Um, so I'll turn you around and show you what we've got. Um, so I've gone from having my own space in a shared room to sharing a space in this big shared studio which I loved because as you can see we've got natural light we can have plants up here um, and there's quite a few other people working up here um, at different times so you get a lot of creative energy and company we've got the little kitchen area which is great for coffee and lunch and things the toilets over there so I'm sharing a space with uh, Nuka, who is another artist, I will make sure to post a link to her work, um, sorry, their work, and so you can see it because she does some very interesting um, creative stuff, a lot of it's to do with mental health, it's great. So here is my desk um, and my trusty IKEA drawers. So I've sorted it out, I've got things on my desk which I use regularly, my lovely daylight light lamp, um, which I can change the brightness of and makes for really good um, sketching as well as um, photography light as well. Um, brushes, the noodle pots are for water, um, although obviously they're remains of my lunches very useful we use and recycle various um, ceramic plates and dishes which I use as palettes and as you can see I don't clean very often medication of course absolute essential pencil case pens sketchbook and diary these are a few things that I want to get pinned up on the wall um, so sketchbook which will go back in its drawer and then these are various um, colour mixing charts that I've got. Um, yeah, I think you can see some of them there for different palettes and brands of paint. Um, some art, that's actually from Denise Sodom. Um, another postcard, who's this? Has this lovely by Emily Yerish. I got this in a squaller box. Um, and I just want to hang that up as well. So I can get these up on oh, scrap paper. I use this all the time for testing paint mixes and things like that and to get my pens flowing properly. So it's always useful to have on hand and that will be going up on the board as well. This is the lid from one of the IKEA drawers, but I use it to tape paper to when I'm painting because I can easily turn it different directions um, so that I can get to the paper in, ergonomic, in an ergonomic fashion. Um, I can tape directly to the desk or to my cutting mat if it's a bigger piece, but this is good for smaller. Um, then down in the drawers, we are organised. I've got my tablet here, which I use for reference images. Um, and this drawer is full of different media and tools. So various paints, um, that's my dip pen box. And then back here, there's lots of pencils. So I'm trying to keep that fairly organised. Um, this is paper, again relatively organised. Um, notepads, sketch pads, paper pads, um, that's all in there. And these amazing swatch cards which I really need to fill out completely. Um, ooh, third drawer is this is all finished work mostly so finished sketchbooks which you'll have seen sketchbook tours of um some finished practice pieces finished pieces some prints they're all kept in here and uh, just cloth for reasons unknown um whoop, I'll pick you up heater absolutely essential as is hot water bottle in the cold uh, cold months. And then over here I've got shelves. Again, these are shared with Nuka, so Nuka's stuff on the bottom. Um, the essential tea and snacks. Um, this is a box of um, 
um, packaging, um, display things, the boxes, that sort of thing. Things for shows and sending things off. Easels, again, for sometimes for painting, sometimes for display. Canvases. This is all my acrylic painting stuff, as well as a box of pencils and charcoals. And then at the top, just, oh, that's a 15 kilogram box of clay and then some storage boxes. So you can see it's a really nice little space. Um, it's a bit more confined than I had previously, but I'm finding it works nicely. It's forced me to actually organize things um, and it's been really comfortable working in here. I particularly just like having the natural light. It just makes things so much happier. So I hope you enjoyed seeing where I work um, and keep up to date with various things that I'm posting on Facebook um, and I hope you enjoy them. Bye!